Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. A couple from Hazleton are facing charges of child abuse following a four-month investigation. WYLN's Gary Perna has more. This is 35-year-old Jamal Williams, and this is 30-year-old Jennifer Collins, both of 802 P Street. They were in district court today answering to charges that they abused their children. Here's what police say happened. Back in January, they met with the children ages 10, 9, 4, and 3. One of the children stated that Jamal would hit them with a belt. They were also beaten with color plastic hangers. Each child had their own hanger that they were struck with. The children were also burned with cigarettes. Another child was denied food when he misbehaved. Police also say they found a barrel lock on the children's bedroom door so that they could be locked in their bedrooms. The children were also forced to drink hot sauce. I'm sickened to the core of my stomach. I mean, I'm just sickened by it. It sickens me. I mean, like I said, as a father, as a, as a parent, how could you do that to children? If it's true, and obviously everyone is innocent until proven guilty, but this just sickens me to my stomach. Police also noted that the house was found to be in filthy condition with an overpowering odor of cat and dog urine and feces. It's absolutely a house of horrors. I mean, how can you think anything but? I mean, when you see that being done to children, how could you think it's anything but a house of horror? One child was strangled on two occasions by Jamal. That's according to court documents. City police and other agencies have seen an uptick in these kinds of cases. It's all about building trust and legitimacy with the community. And as trust and legitimacy is built between the police and the community, they're not afraid to report these things. And that's really what policing is in the 21st century. I hate to tell you, but trust and legitimacy is our core. And that once that is built between the community, as you see, in the last two years, we've had so many things come to light. And it's all about the community trusting you and giving you that authority to take action. That's what this is about. Williams is facing strangulation, aggravated assault, endangering the welfare of children, and four counts of simple assault and recklessly endangering another person. He was sent to the county prison after not being able to post $100,000 straight cash bail. Collins is charged with four counts of endangering the welfare of children and simple assault. She was released on $35,000 unsecured bail. In Hazleton for WYLN News, I'm Gary Perna. One person was taken to the hospital following a two-car crash. It happened around 3 this afternoon at 9th and Seibert Streets. The driver of the Toyota taken by APTS EMS to Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton to be checked out. The driver of the Ford Escape did not seek medical attention. Hazleton Fire and Police were on the scene. The police department is investigating this afternoon's crash. Hazleton City Council updated an ordinance that would charge for fire and police false alarms. Officials say they are updating the code because the fines are out of date. The original ordinance was written back in 1995 and Hazleton Fire Chief Donald Leshko said it was time to update the fines with the times. Now for the first and second false alarm, there's no charge. For a third and fourth time, the fee, $250. On the fifth false alarm, it's a $500 fee, and the sixth and anything over that, $1,000. City Council will have to pass the ordinance again on its second and third reading before it becomes law. That will happen May 23rd. Also in Hazleton, regulations remain in place for medical marijuana facilities in the city. A repealer ordinance was on last night's city council agenda, but it was removed and never discussed. It came up because of an application for a state permit by Pam J LLC for a growing processing facility proposed for an area near the Helping Hand Society property. That houses a preschool. 
and officials voiced concerns for students and parents. Council will now take a look at local regulations and state law. Before discussing it further, the Zoning Board will consider the request when they meet next week. Plans to complete the new municipal building in Butler Township moving full steam ahead. The Board of Supervisors approved an ordinance on Tuesday to authorize a general obligation note for $1.2 million. The loan will come from PNC Bank to finish construction. The new facility being built on Lot 11 in the Candu Corporate Center. It will be twice the size of the current municipal building. The township engineer and construction manager were also authorized by the board to advertise for bids for the remainder of work on the new building. Some employees at a call center in Wilkes-Barre Township found out they no longer had jobs on Tuesday. Some workers at Lord & Taylor were laid off without receiving advance notice. Lord & Taylor is owned by Canadian-based Hudson Bay's company. A spokesperson for the business said the call center will not be shutting down. Lord & Taylor announced earlier this year that it would be cutting over 200 jobs by the end of April. There was no word as to how many employees they were laid off. Coming up on WYLN News, stamping out hunger plus keeping the outdoors clean. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. Scattered thunderstorms throughout and overnight, the low 46. Partly cloudy tomorrow, the high 65. Saturday, more thunderstorms and a high of 71. We'll be right back. Strong families and strong values are what make Pennsylvania great. My mother was strong and she raised me with Pennsylvania values like hard work and integrity. Republican John Schrin running for Congress to fight for our conservative values. And I'll stand with the president to drain the swamp, secure our borders and fight for the forgotten families of this country. Strong borders, strong families, strong values. John Schrin for Congress. I'm John Schrin and I approve this message. I've been spending a tremendous amount of time out talking to Pennsylvanians. And one of the things I've learned is they want to be inspired again. We've lost 50,000 jobs in Pennsylvania. We're losing our college graduates to other parts of the country. We have some of the highest taxes, the highest gas tax, some of the highest real estate taxes. So we have to turn this thing around. We're proposing to lower the corporate tax rate, do away with property taxes. All positive change has always started with a clear vision. Let's restore the dream of America to the children of Pennsylvania. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and train comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. This Saturday, May 12th, you can help out those in need by placing non-perishable food items right in front of your mailbox. Stamp Out Hunger is the nation's largest single day food drive. Over 1.5 billion pounds of food have been collected since its inception. The United Way of Greater Hazelton has been partnering since 1993 with the Letter Carriers Association and the Post Office to collect food to help food banks this in the area. This is a great time for people to donate because with the Easter season over, the food banks generally at this time of year are depleted. So the easiest and the nicest thing about this project is all folks have to do is leave food out, non-perishable items outside uh, where their letter carrier normally drops off the mail and the letter carriers and United Way volunteers will pick the food up and the food will be distributed to United Charities in West Hazleton, Catholic Social Services and the Commission on Economic Opportunity. 
This year's food drive partners include Hayden Electric, Keystone Job Corps, and United Way. Unlike previous years, donations will be taken directly to the food banks. What we'll do is we're going to have half the city split up in one direction that will go to United Charities. The other half of the city will be taken to CEO and uh, Catholic Social Services. To help out, all you have to do is leave a sturdy bag containing non-perishable food items such as canned vegetables, pasta, rice, and cereal next to your mailbox on Saturday, May 12th. Hundreds of volunteers rolled up their sleeves today to spruce up the Greater Hazleton Rails to Trails. Our Julie Stefanovich has the story. The steady rainfall didn't discourage dozens of volunteers from the American Eagle Outfitters from coming out today to help beautify the Greater Hazleton Rails to Trails. Over 200 associates started out their day by raking, shoveling, and mulching the trail at the main entrance off of Route 93. This is the sixth year in a row that American Eagle Outfitters not only lent a helping hand but also funding to the project. AEO and the AEO Foundation is committed to ensuring that the communities where we uh, work and live are vibrant and we like to participate and, and give back to the local communities where our associates live, work and play. Well, American Eagles Foundation gives back to the community, so outside of uh, the volunteers that we have from our distribution center out here today, American Eagle, found through the foundation, will also be giving a grant to the uh, local Wells to Trails as well. Former Hazleton Mayor Joe Yanuzzi and other members of the Greater Hazleton Area Civic Partnership also came out to help maintain the jewel of the area. Well, the Civic Partnership is a group of people that was formed uh, years ago, and we formed a Rails to Trail Committee, which is an off offshoot of our organization. The Rails to Trails started the Rails to Trails 20 years ago or something like that, and now we're developing it into a great trail. It's a, a busy place. We came up here last night, couldn't even get a parking space. There were so many people using the trail. It's a great asset for our community. Uh, and uh, the Rails and Trails Committee is a small committee, so they never could accomplish this heavy duty work that we has to be done right now. And American Eagle is coming in and doing it. Vito's Lawn Service lent heavy machinery and crew members to smooth out the trail for the numerous walkers, runners, and bikers that use the rails to trails on an ongoing basis. This is the biggest recreational asset the city of Hazleton really has uh, and the surrounding communities. Uh, it's an asset that everybody's looking for, something they can do at the spare of a moment. They can come up here, drive up here, go for a walk, go for a bike ride, you know, take the dog for a walk, whatever they do. They come up here and uh, they, they get their hour, two hours on the trail and they're back home again. It's, it's right next to our community. It's, it's a per perfect spot. The volunteers will also be out tomorrow to finish up projects along the trail so it can be enjoyed by all who come out this summer and spring to utilize all that it has to offer. In Hazleton for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Coming up on Nescapac Passes News Choice, a woman's luncheon mixer in Community and You, plus the plays the thing in Nuremberg. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. George Halkovich, a serial tax raiser. That's what I love. Halkovich then used the tax increase funds to give himself a pay raise. That's disgraceful. Now Halkovich is running a TV spot lying about Dan Muser. The truth? Dan Muser's a trusted conservative who's never supported Hillary and never would. That's why Dan Muser's endorsed by Vets for Trump and Making America Great Pack. Dan Muser, the honest conservative for Congress. I'm Dan Muser, and I approve this message. Pennsylvania is a great state filled with good, hardworking people looking to get ahead. But Tom Wolf wants to raise taxes and take more of your paycheck. I'm Scott Wagner. I sign hundreds of paychecks each week. I see firsthand how much state government takes. I'm blunt, outspoken, and determined. I'm a garbage man. You won't always agree with me, but know this. I'm on a mission 
to protect your paycheck and cut your taxes. And I will always put you first. At the Joyce Insurance Group, we offer insurance tailored to your needs. We protect what matters most to you. We've been serving the needs of thousands of clients throughout Northeast Pennsylvania since 1955. Our professional agents are dedicated to providing you with a great insurance experience. With 62 years in business, our clients are the reason that we care the most. Ask any of our 5,000 plus satisfied customers and they'll tell you the right choice is Joyce. Welcome to Community and you here on W Island. Mary Milan, the president, Greater Hazelden Chamber of Commerce is here. We're talking about the women's luncheon, and this is a great event, Mary, uh, for business women in our area to get together, kind of have that little one-on-one -on -one with maybe some other uh, women in businesses here in our area uh, to meet, have lunch, talk, go over some stuff, and also learn um, different things from presentations. And this one deals all about banking. Right, so it's springtime, it makes me think of spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. So a good time to kind of freshen up your knowledge of financing as well at this point in time. So our good friends from Landmark are going to be our speakers. Mm -hmm. And the piece I like about uh, the women's networking lunches, they tend to be, you know, a manageable size. Mm -hmm. We always pick two, there's a women's resource table for anyone attending, and we always pick, kind of randomly mm -hmm. pick from the attendees two businesses to talk about, to do the elevator speech about their particular business. So um, again, in on time, out on time, that one hour over your lunch and can have a lot of impact. But again, financing, whether it's business financing, mm -hmm. personal financing, um, always good to, to get an update on what's out there and available and things for you to consider. And this will all happen on Tuesday, May 22nd from noon until 1 at Vesuvio's Pizza and Restaurant on North Wyoming Street in downtown Hazleton. So this is also one of those great events. You know, as Mary said, you know, you can network, mix, mingle a little bit learn some information from the guest speakers and there have been a wide variety of those over the last couple of years with the luncheons and again this is just a great way to get businesses talking to other businesses in the area and it's not only for members of the chamber mm -hmm. these events like a red carpet the women's networking luncheon you don't have to be a chamber right. member and so you can sign go ahead and sign up online bring a friends um, again a good time and vesuvios who wouldn't want Vesuvio's for uh, for lunch? See, you're banking on pizza here. See? <laughs> we See? are banking on pizza. And again, this is uh, Tuesday, May 22nd from noon to 1 at Vesuvio's Pizza and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton. For uh, members, it's $18, non-member $25, and you can register for this at hazeltonchamber.org for the women's luncheon, uh, luncheon mixer. So, Mary, do we miss anything? I don't think so, but always updates mm -hmm. on the uh, the Chamber Facebook page yes. and our web page. And uh, thank you to our good friends here at WYLN. Keep their eye on the news because you guys always cover if See? there's a change uh, change midway through. See, always. We like to keep everyone advised of what's going on here in the greater Hazleton area. Thanks, Mary, for coming in. And thank you for watching us here on Community and You. We'll catch you next time here on WYLN. Northeast Pennsylvania. Scenic beauty, close-knit communities. We're neighbors helping neighbors. Lehigh Valley Health Network is bringing you leading edge cancer treatment that's close to home. Robotic surgery for quicker recoveries. World-class heart care and access to top specialists. All from Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton and our 15 community locations. Neighbors caring for greater Hazleton and beyond. Lehigh Valley Health Network. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. advertising a student like me pitching you the same old ideas but I'm not gonna do that instead I'm gonna tell you what you can do with a Penn State degree you can help anyone go anywhere 
create. And with 20 campuses to choose from, you'll always feel at home. Look, Penn State is amazing, but your best years are just beginning. Come find out for yourself. Go hog wild for Iron Pigs baseball. WYLN is televising the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs live. America's favorite pastime on your local network, WYLN TV 35. See the stars of tomorrow at Coca-Cola Park. Don't miss any of the games here on WYLN TV 35. Visit WYLNTV.com for a complete Iron Pigs schedule. Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs on WYLN, your home for live sports. Spring is here, so stop in and get everything you need to make your garden colorful and bright. Check out our incredible low prices only at Van Hoeken Greenhouses, Retail Garden Center, Lofty Road, McAdoo. The Greater Hazelton Chamber of Commerce Monthly Red Carpet Breakfast held today on the Penn State Hazelton campus to talk new programs at the university. The community was updated on all the new things that are happening at Penn State Hazelton, such as new infrastructure in terms of buildings and recreational opportunities, as well as new programming with the Proctor of Supply Chain Management degree, Clinical Medical Assisting and Nurses Aid Program. This morning's update about bridging the gap between the college and the community in a new and interesting way. The uh, other major piece that we were talking about today was the Penn State Hazleton Launch Box, which is a business uh, entrepreneurship and innovation hub that will be in downtown Hazleton um, in the old Bingo building. Uh, and we're, we're very excited about that to be a part of working with uh, Can Do, Can Be, and the Downtown Hazleton Alliance for Progress to really put this together in such a way as to create a, um, an entrepreneurial ecosystem within the greater Hazleton region. The university just wrapped up graduation and is very excited about all the opportunities for its students while looking forward to them being back on campus in August. Nuremberg Community Players presents Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. WILN's Julia Wiegand has more. Nuremberg Community Players celebrated their 35th anniversary this year. And what better way to celebrate than bringing back the first production ever done by the theater? Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat will be performed at 283 Hazel Street in Nuremberg starting tomorrow through the 13th. The musical takes place way, way back, many centuries ago, not long after the Bible began. Brenda Sacklebin was cast for not just one, but two roles in the musical. I enjoy not only playing a brother, but also the butler in the show. Um, I get to find the goat wandering in the desert when we take Joseph's coat and um, then uh, put the blood on the coat to pretend that uh, and tell the father that Joseph is dead. So this is my goat anxious Annie. She has a big role in the show. <laughs> for lead role Eric Kroll, the theater scene is entirely new for him. His father, George Kroll, playing old Joseph, was actually the original young Joseph for the theater back in 1983. They, they want to say it's a story from the Bible and, um, and it is, uh, but it's not a religious story, it's more of a moral moral story. Uh, it's a feel-good story. Different from a lot of shows is that it's, it's, there's no spoken lines. It's all music. Um, it's all different styles. It's really all over the place, but the music is very upbeat. It's danceable. It's kind of hard to forget once you get it in your head for sure, and it's going to be fun. They, are, they will laugh, they will cry, and, and, uh, or at least that's what I hope anyhow. <laughs> they laugh, cry, and, and walk away feeling like they got their money's worth, I think. John Zions, who's playing Joseph's oldest brother, Reuben, says this isn't his first rodeo with the role. I played this part eight years ago with uh, the MPP players, so that's my second time playing it, and I'm really enjoying this cast, and it's, it's a great show. It's going to be a great show. I don't want to tell too much because I want everybody to come and see the show. So Tomorrow and Saturday's start times will be at 7 p.m., and Sunday will start at 3 p.m. Tickets are $15, and children under 12 are $10. For tickets, call the toll-free number 877-718-7894. Reporting from Nuremberg for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. Outstanding show, a lot of fun. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. For four generations, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has been treating their customers like family. Stop in to get the lowest financing options and best service around. 
Whether you're in need of a Ram pickup or have an active family lifestyle or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Tamaqua has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. Stop in for the Chrysler Pacifica Incredible Sales Event and the Jeep Celebration Event. On Saturday, May 12th at 7.30 p.m., the Wiltsey Center presents Beatlemania Now. Join the crowd and twist and shout to the music of the world's greatest rock band. Beatlemania Now successfully recaptures the mood and frantic intensity of that bygone era, skillfully and effectively recreating the sights and sounds that were and still are the Beatles. 700 North Wyoming Street in Hazleton at the Historic Castle. Tickets are 27 in advance, 30 at the door. On sale now at eventbrite.com, at Boscos at the Laurel Mall, and at the door. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Something is out there. What it is, no one knows. However, since its first sighting, there have been numerous reports of strange lights in the night sky. Some say they are extraterrestrials, flying saucers. But, to all of those seemingly unrelated uncertainties, there is one common thread. Solo Space Man on WYLN TV 35, Thursdays at 11, Saturdays at 4, and Sundays at 9. Are you in good hands? Call Gary McNeilis of Allstate Insurance for all your insurance needs. The McNeilis Agency has two locations to conveniently serve you, 1092 North Church Street in Hazel Township and Hometown Village Square in Hometown. Their quality service-oriented agency will make sure you get the coverage you need at a price you can afford. Call in Hazel Township at 570-454-1981 or in Hometown at 570-668-5133. Are you in good hands? Weather on WYLN TV 35 is brought to you by State Representative Tara Tuhill. Paid for by the committee to elect Tara Tuhill.